everyone, it's John again. I uh, got a little something to show you today. I'm not on my bike right now. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do a vlog a little bit later. But uh, when I first started riding, of course, my wife rode on the back and uh, we rode together and we wanted to be able to talk to each other and with full face helmets, that's kind of hard to do. Um, so what we did was we bought a little wired intercom from a company called Navy. And this intercom uh, worked really well, but of course it was wired. You had to plug it in and it ran on a couple of AA batteries. And so when she got her own bike, we quickly realized that a wired system was not going to work for us anymore. But there was even more of a need for us to have an ability to talk to each other because we were on separate bikes. And especially with her learning how to ride, it was really nice for me to be able to talk to her as she rode and, and give her ideas. and and uh, answer questions and whatnot. So we invested in a Bluetooth audio system from Shark. We've had it for a little over a year now, as long as she's had her bike, we bought, we bought her bike. And uh, it worked really well through uh, all sorts of storms, everything else. I use it a lot to listen to music, uh, even talk on the phone if I have to. It works really, really well. And Shark has been building these for a couple of years. <clears throat> and this is a new one that they just came out with and they sent it to me so that I would do a review of it, and I think I like it enough to upgrade to it. You'll hear more later. I'm gonna do a series of three videos. The first video is gonna be this one. We're gonna do just a short overview of the product. The next one, I'm gonna give you an installation video, which I'm gonna go in depth on how it works, show you how to pair it with a phone, so you get an idea about how, it, how hard, or easy rather, it is to install and use before you buy. And the final one is gonna be a review. I'm gonna really go in depth and talk about the product, and I am going to actually give you some on-bike footage and you're going to get to hear exactly what it sounds like because I'm going to record the audio straight through that Bluetooth headset. So, let me just show you real quick what you get in the box. First thing, of course, is the actual headset itself. Little box, it's got an antenna on it. You've got three main buttons. You've got uh, a phone button that lets you answer or hang up calls. Uh, also allows you to pause and play music if you're listening to music. The main button here, which allows you to switch between your phone and your music, that's something my wife and I, uh, or your music and your, your intercom, that's something my wife and I use a lot on our other one, because what we are able to do is, uh, on a long ride, say we're riding hundreds and hundreds of miles, uh, you know, we'll listen to music, but if we need to say something like, hey, I gotta use the bathroom, let's stop, you just push the button, either one can push the button, and it'll click over it and it'll connect. So uh, she can be riding along, she can push this button, it'll, it'll pause my music, on, on the other bike, it'll pause my music, and switch over so that I can talk to her. And so then we can talk and then whenever we're done, you push the button again, it unpauses the music, you're good to go. And this button up here, this A button is used to switch between multiple intercoms. This is a feature I don't have, but I do have now with this one. It's not a feature I use, but some would find it useful if you have several people. This will allow you to communicate with three different headsets, two at a time. So let's say we had a third headset here, I could, I could press A to switch between that headset and A to switch between that headset. So that's what the buttons do. It also comes with a USB charger. It uses this little kind of mini stereo kind of connection for the charging. Pretty cool. And the other thing that plugs into the same place where your charger plugs in is an audio, and remember the same connection, but this is an audio cable. So if you have an audio source that's not Bluetooth, like an MP3 player, or a GPS, or a radar detector, or anything else like that, you can actually plug it directly into the headset. You'll plug this into your headset, this end into your audio source, and this right here will plug in to your uh, headset that's inside the helmet, which is pretty cool because it gives you the advantage of, of being able to connect wired audio sources. Personally, I don't have a use for that because everything I, ha I use now is Bluetooth, but uh, you know, if I had an older MP3 player that had my music on it, like an old iPod Classic or something, you know, it would be totally cool for that. And I can imagine uses where it would become useful. Then, of course, you get the headset. This is the main thing right here. You have two speakers, which are Velcro, and you have the microphone boom, and then you have this small plug. It looks like it's bundled up, but it's actually just the speaker bundled up. You have this small plug that will plug into your headset unit. You also get something that I didn't get with my last headset, these little cushions, and these wrap around the speakers if you're gonna use it with a, like a half helmet, uh, in a situation where you'd have these speakers plastic right up against your ear. Now you've actually got a nice little cushion that you can use when you are uh, riding. And of course you have the backer here, and this is how the headset will actually go into your helmet. You'll put that on, it comes with two Phillips screws, and that kind of clips in to your helmet, and you hook up your microphone. Finally, it comes with the USB charger that 
connects to the USB cable. You know how USB works, I'm sure. You're on a computer, you're watching this video, but just in case, plugs in, plugs in your headset, charging. Charges in a couple of hours, lasts for a long, long time. Uh, and, you know, so that's it. Not much in the box, but two of those. You get two of these. That's the really cool thing about these shark setups. Uh, for twice the price, you get one scale rider or one chatterbox or one of anything else, but you get both of these for $140. For half the price, you get double. So 140 bucks, you get both, you're good to go. You can communicate with, with each other. And you know what, it's so cheap that even if you just need one to listen to music, <clears throat> it's still cheaper to buy two of them than it is to buy uh, one of the other guys. Uh, now, of course, you get some advantages with the more expensive ones, but it's debatable whether or not you get such an advantage that it's worth the tremendous cost. This is how it looks on the helmet. Flip the helmet up, or the antenna up and you're ready to go. Your microphone booms in here. Now, this is something that's different. Now, before I had a, a wired microphone that I actually got to snake up and hide in here. Uh, this one's more like this, where it goes up underneath. I'm going to have to get used to it, but I think I can get used to it. Uh, but this is really nice, again, for three-quarter and half helmets. So this thing is going to work with any type of helmet you've got. You may have to get a little creative with a half helmet, if that's what you ride with, but it'll work with any type of helmet. I ride with a full-face helmet myself, so uh, it works just fine with that. So that's what it comes with. Pairs up super easy to your phone, allows you to listen to music, allows you to listen to GPS directions. Let me tell you what, guys, one of the things I found is uh, mounting your phone to your handlebars for a GPS is totally a waste of time because you hardly can see it when the bright sun's out anyway. And when you have one of these, you can hear the directions in your headset just fine. And that works, at least for me, that works out just fine. This is full stereo. That means that you actually get stereo audio. Most of the Bluetooth headsets, watch them. They're mono. You get the same audio in each speaker. This is truly stereo. It uses the Bluetooth A2DP profile when you're running music. And it'll automatically switch between that and the regular headset profile whenever uh, you get a phone call uh, or whenever you are switching to the other Bluetooth headset to communicate. Shark claims this will work a thousand meters away. It's about three thousand feet. I've not tested that yet. When I get to the review, you'll hear whether you'll hear the verdict on that. However, my other shark headset does not have the antenna and will work easily 1,500 to 2,000 feet uh, with clear, concise, crisp communication. So it works fantastic. And that is from one headset to the next. I don't know what scenario you can imagine where you need your phone to be 3,000 feet away, but it's not going to work that far with your phone. But both headsets are amplified, so both headsets have a combined range supposedly of about 3,000 feet. Um, that's almost a mile, okay? That's, well, three-fifths of a mile, right? So that's a pretty fantastic range. They say you can use it up uh, well up above highway speeds. I was able to use my other one at 75, 80 miles an hour, still talk. Um, you're muffled out by some wind noise, but the, but the other one does a great job of canceling wind noise. So we'll hear all that in the review. Watch out for the next video. We're going to learn how to set it up. We're going to learn how to charge it. We're going to learn how to install it in our helmet. And in the final video, we're going to figure out uh, how good these things really are for $140. $140, bucks, you get two of them, you're good to go. Oh, and a two-year warranty. So you get a warranty that's better than uh, some of the other guys, at least comparable. So we'll see how it turns out. Be watching for the review. God bless, guys. I'll talk to you later.